Soft Settlement Deformation Part 4. This episode will focus on sole marks and surface grooves. Sole marks refer to small scale grooves or irregularities you find uh, between, two, uh, diff between two lithologies such that one uh, is different from the other in terms of grain size or the degree of consolidation. So typically we find soil marks at the base of the overlying rock. So supposing I have uh, two mass, maybe a bed of consolidated sandstone and uh, underneath it I have another layer of, uh, uh, let's say, it's laminated mud, mud rock. So at the base of this consolidated sand is where you find soil marks and it's also usually as a result of the, uh, the, the weight of the overlying rock on the underlying rock. So the impressions you find under this overlying rock will be, of course, as a result of the, 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 the pressure from it, the weight from it, while sitting on the underlying rock. So you'll find some impressions or some grooves uh, at the bottom of, of, the, of this, of this uh, mass of sand. On the other hand, groove casts are pattern ridges that you find um, on, on some kind of, you know, bedded uh, or bedding uh, surface or bedded uh, uh, strata in such a way that those little ridges are they have some millimeter to centimeter thick you know amplitude sometimes very thin but some other times they are like much larger scale uh, uh, grooves on the bedding surface so they typically form when the formation uh, was originally you know still consolidating in other words it's still in a semi consolidated or semi-lithified stage. So, um, well, according to some authors, uh, some of this, you know, evidence of groove form when high velocity flows actually moving in one direction creates a groove on the underlying bed. On this, on this uh, section to the left, the map to the, the picture to the left shows some, you know, you see some of these ridges, but these are very small scale ridges, and it shows some evidence of movement, some things, you know, creating some kind of striations or some marks on the uh, on the line bed. Uh, to the right, we actually see what looks like, you know, all manner of, um, re, um, you know, ripples, but this actually, uh, as a result of you know, soft sediment uh, states. So originally, this online uh, uh, mass of sand, it was so was still forming and not so uh, in the final lithified stage. But the weight of the rock above now, you know, creates some kind of you know undulation or irregularity that you find on top of that uh, uh, on uh, underlying uh, you know sandstone bed. So this is well just an outcrop section that shows where we find soil marks. So this is a, a, a bed of sand. This is a sandstone bed. So on the line it we have this mass of uh, this muddy units. So typically, um, if you look under this, you know, very competent mass of sand at the base of it, you find. Uh, different manner of grooves or marks at the base of it. Same thing on this side, and that's where these arrows are pointing to. There are, what you find is that at the bottom of the sand, it's not flat, it's not, it's just, it's just a bit uh, irregular. And some in some cases, you actually see some very sharp cuts or evidence that there's something that is occupying um, a space that the overlying rock has, you know, created. So this, this marks that you find at the base of very, uh, competent rocks like this are called uh, soul marks. So this is another view uh, of of similar um, competent, uh, you know, bed that what was overturned, dislodged, and overturned. So here we see all manner of you know features, uh, some small, some showing us some evidence of you know directioning, and uh, in some other cases. Um, it just shows you some, you know, tells you that there's some kind of movement or some kind of undulation uh, on that surface. 
there are some other you know different uh, examples of um, this but the focus of this very slide is to demonstrate that this formed when the unit above you know was actually sitting on the one below but the unit above was not totally consolidated so at in that state it creates some kind of you know irregular um, um, you know surface underneath that the underlying rock uh, formation actually fills in those smaller spaces or small pockets of um, you know irregular um, openings or irregular spaces that it has the underlying rock fills it in and because of the weight of the overlying rock those impressions remain permanently on the base um, of the of, of on the base of the overlying rock so this is uh, on a surface so standing on this surface we see this um, kind of these ridges that seem to you know point us to some kind of directions uh, the idea here is that this uh, surface actually was not in the final uh, was not fully consolidated when the overlying uh, mass of rock was you know impacting some pressure on it exerting some pressure on it so it kind of created some you know undulations in the form of uh, you know large scale uh, grooves in this case if you may say so on this on this uh, very formation so this is another example where we actually see lots of undulations and that is also because while this uh, bed was still consolidating the unit above it exerts so much pressure and that creates these undulations that we see sometimes you might actually find depending on whether the, real, the, the area was preferentially oriented in one direction or if it was sub-horizontal you might actually see some evidence of directioning or paleo uh, flow um, yeah paleo flow trend on surfaces like this So this is a close look at one of such, you know, ridge, but in this case, it's a little, it's not a straight ridge. So, but what, what this is actually showing is how we can use uh, what in this case appears to be some kind of uh, uh, anti-dune or dune uh, kind of shows in this, in this direction, we have a very gentle slope in the other in the other uh, side of it we have a steep flow so typically this will be the direction of flow and then this will be direction in this direction we have erosion and in this in this location we have the position so typically it tells us that with the asymmetry we see tells us that everything was moving from this direction to the other direction and that's we can tell from the asymmetry we see in the um, the geometry of this this um, this um, structure and then to the bottom uh, left is similar view showing all manner of you know soft sediment uh, deformation so that is telling us that this area was not fully lithified when the overboarding uh, rock you know impacted so much um, weight on it again this is another view but this time the pen is placed on the what we call the lee side of it all right so thank you for listening um i do hope you you found that um, worth your time do not hesitate to send an email if you have questions or comments and uh, please do follow us on youtube and facebook thank you